The colors were enough to make me stop in my tracks and give Anthony Nagnola's work a closer look. They're so vibrant and alive that they almost dominate the entire scene. It's like all the other elements, the women, the flowers, the plants, the baby and the cart play second fiddle. For me, the colors, or to be precise, the exact palette shade is the star. I don't think this will work with pastel or a monochrome. As I try to peel my eyes off the colors, which is difficult to do, mind you, I then notice how Naniola's painting is representative of popular themes in Pinoy art. We have the Tres Marias, flower vendors, the mother and child, and floral still alive. Naniola also pays homage to the master, Oscar Zalameda, with how he drew the faces. If this was made pre-pandemic, that might be all there is to see in the faces, but during this crisis, the bottom part of their faces can be seen as face masks. Nanola brings to mind Vicente Manansala with how the mother's back is facing us. The artist reminds us of Mala, who is known for his pretty flower vendors. Intentional or not, Nanola's plantita scene at a time when the world is slowly trying to get back to normalcy serves as a springboard to the history of Philippine art and the masters that made it as colorful and as beautiful as Nanola's work. Pinoy art is essential. Art is essential. Mm -hmm.